Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today I'm going to cover installing custom templates in WinLink with a special emphasis for my local amateur radio operators here in Ventura County, California who participate in ACS ARES check-in nets. We do have a specific special template for them that we would like them to install. So some of this is going to be directed directly to them. But for the most part, if you're trying to learn about installing your own templates or installing something from the WinLink archive, this video is for you. Oh, and hey, don't forget, if you like the videos that we do here, click on the subscribe button and click on the little bell that tells you that you can be notified when new videos come out. With that, here we go. All right, well, let's get started with custom WinLink templates. First thing we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about the file structure for WinLink. I'm going to go ahead and pop in here to the WinLink install directory. Let's see, so I'm looking for RMS Express, and in my case, I installed it under drive C. Now, there's a couple direct directories of interest in here, okay? One is the call sign directory, and this has all the information that's specific to your call sign. There's a templates directory in here, and you notice mine is empty. So the reason mine is empty is I choose to put all my custom templates in the global folder, just in case somebody else wants to use my system and use it to check in with their call sign. And I placed my custom templates right in here. Now let's talk a little bit about custom templates. First off, if I want to get rid of a custom template, Let's take a look at what custom templates look like. If I go in here under Messages and go to Templates, I'm going to see that I have all the standard templates that are provided by WinLink, and these are all the templates that are automatically updated. But in my case, I also have the global template for ACS check-in. Okay, and that's a local template for Ventura County only. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this template, just like so. That's all I did is I just deleted it. Okay, now I need to close and I need to reopen WinLink for it to reread that directory. And, you know, magically what happens now is if I go to templates there's no longer any global templates, all right? So let's go ahead, and we'll close this up. We'll close up WinLink, and let's install some templates. So in my case, I am going to go to a particular URL. Here's the URL right here on the screen. What this URL goes to are the templates for the Ventura County ACS ARES network. Let's go ahead and go to that, temp, uh, that URL. I'll go ahead and open this up. We'll go, go to vccom.org slash updates. And here are the WinLink templates. Now, in our particular case, we do it a little bit differently. Each time we modify the template, we toggle this number, which is the serial number. Right now, it's 0 0.7. And also, you'll find another file in here called Latest, and that file is linked to the most current version. So in this case, our most current version is 0.7. I can download 0.7 because it's going to be the highest number in this list, or I can just download the latest templates. Now, when I click to download it, it's going to put it in my downloads directory, so I will go ahead and save it. Now, once it's saved, all I really need to do to install it is click on it. It's going to open up the WinLink templates directory inside of this zip file. And if I double click, I see that there are three files and another folder called instructions. Now, the instructions basically is just a text file that covers what I'm showing. 
Um, if you're packaging these templates or changing templates and packaging it for your organization, I recommend that you put some sort of instructions in that packet. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for them to do it. Now, you notice there's three files, but this is only one form, one template. Why is that? Well, because each one of these files is tied together to make one concise template in the program. So uh, in our case, we are going to copy all three of these and we are going to go back to the RMS Express directory. And again, I am going to open up global folders, open up templates, and I am just going to paste this right on in there. Okay. Now, you notice earlier I deleted the files before I put them in. Now, there was a reason for that. I want to make sure that they're registered as new files with new file nodes. Um, if you overwrite, sometimes it's like a move and the node doesn't change. It doesn't necessarily update the cache and win link. So delete the ones that you're replacing before you continue with that. Uh, also, I want to make sure in my particular case that uh, my call sign directory has no templates in it. If there happen to be templates by the same name in my call sign directory, they override any template that's in the system. So just be aware of that, that it's kind of a hierarchical thing when it comes to templates. If there's a template by the same name, in your call sign directory that is the most exclusive template that would be the one that always comes up regardless of where you pick that template name from any place else. If you don't have anything by that name in your call sign directory but there's one in the global directory and there's also one in the default directory for WinLink, guess what? It's going to take the one in the global directory. So this is a little thing that they don't talk a lot about in WinLink. So try to keep that in mind when you're setting this up. Again, just to clarify, I'm in the RMS Express directory under global files. You see there's a template directory here. Templates, you don't want to mess with that. Okay, you want to go into the global folders directory. And then under templates, you want to go ahead and copy the three files from the template folder. Oh, and by the way, you can also have custom templates that are only text files like this one. So make sure you look at what you have to copy. In our particular case, with ACS ARES Ventura, we want you to copy all the files that are in there. We don't want you to copy the instructions folder. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and we're going to close WinLink, open it back up, and take a look. Let's see under message, under templates, global's back, and there's my template. Okay. Now, again, three files, one template. Anyway, with that, that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you very much from AG6AG. Well, that's it. I hope it made it simple enough for you that you can figure out how to get those templates installed. And I hope you guys out there in Ventura County, this really helps you locate the templates easily and get them onto your system so you can use them for our net check-in for ACSARES Ventura. I want to thank you for joining us here. And, ah, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video or any of my other videos, make sure you click like on the video. Love to see your feedback. Any additional questions, move on down and make them in the comments. Thank you so much. This is Stu, AG6AG. Hope to hear you on the air.